foundation stages have been shown to be the most important time in a child's educational journey. At our new purpose-built environment, we have the opportunity to best prepare your sons and daughters as they move through their educational journey. One of the things I'm most excited about with this new project is the opportunity to work with Stanford American International School. To bring these two great institutions together, we are able to create something which is unique and exciting and truly world-class. It is important to remember though that it is very much about the Australian School. We will maintain our identity. I will still have our same curriculum. We'll still have our same calendar year. And we're very much uh, globally focused, but definitely distinctly Australian. The inclusion of our prep students in this new early years environment is something that we've spent a lot of time thinking about. What we want to do is to make the transition from early years to the early formal stages of elementary education as simple as we possibly can. While we will maintain the rigour that is going to be part of our elementary education at AAS, we are doing this in a purpose-built and comfortable environment so the students are happy and feeling relaxed as they start their learning journey. There's several things about this building which are unique and remarkable. First off, it's bringing together two schools into one. So there's a great economy of resources being brought together. That, however, is made of a large building. And so a lot of our efforts have been, how do we make the building feel child-friendly, child-scale, bring it down to the level of little children? One way we've done it is we've made the building into a series of pods. It's not a monolithic building that just looks like any apartment building anywhere else in Asia. But it's, it's a series of pods which stick out, which stick in, which have greenery in between them, which have green walls on the sides, which have windows here and windows there and windows here. So we break up into a series of little modules. Another thing we've done is each of those modules has as its heart a cluster of four classrooms. The child's experience will be, I'm going to this little school, which is just four classrooms, around a common core of activities. This building is truly unique. I have researched early learning centers in 14 countries, and we have brought the best practice from the architecture of the best buildings in those countries to this building. I've always operated within the philosophy of Reggio Emilio and recognized that the schools here were using that approach and I could take that forward with this project. One of the ways I hope that I've influenced some of the work with the architects that I've done is by considering the color schemes and the materials used in the school. The Reggio approach has always considered the use of natural materials, so we have looked at using wood wherever possible and natural colours that are seen in nature. So, with regard to the outside play spaces, we've looked at how we can encourage that innate curiosity and interest in children to encourage their learning and that investigative power that they just have. So we've looked at natural surroundings where children can dig in deep sand pits, mix with water, follow channels, and work collaboratively with their other friends. We've looked at storytelling hills where children can listen or retell stories. We've looked at abilities for children to climb and develop their physical skills, to create music, to look at gardening skills. So much, so much. They'll be so entranced and excited. I've been working in international education for over 20 years and this is the most excited I've been about a project and the reason is this is a building, an environment that has been built and designed from day one for the children of the youngest years of the school, the children who are 18 months to 6 years of age. Sometimes in a school building you have to adapt the building for the children, you have to make compromises. Now we don't have to do that. We have a building that is purpose-built and purpose-designed for the children who are going to be in that building. One of the unique features of this building is a swimming pool designed for young children to learn to swim. They can swim across the pool, and when they become more confident, they can swim the full length, the full 22 metres of the pool. 
within the pool, there are inbuilt decks, so no matter how old the child or how confident they are in the water, they can stand on a deck and learn to swim at their pace. The environment has been designed to foster imagination and creativity in the children. The children won't realise that, they'll just be having fun. We're excited to move to the new building because other than being an ultra-modern structure, it's going to make use of the natural light available and the nature that we have around us. The floor-to-ceiling windows, I'm excited about that because we have our own nature show at, in our classroom. We're also excited about having things like uh, a kitchen, a dedicated kitchen on every floor and sensory spaces and a gymnasium, a swimming pool, uh, things we didn't have before and things we didn't dream about, but we're looking forward to having them and to providing these kids with, with, with those opportunities. I'm especially excited about having this uh, large open outdoor space. It'll be inside, but it will feel like it's the outside. It will have sand pits and grass areas and green spaces. It'll feel, it'll feel like we're in another world even though we're in a building. All of these different spaces provide different areas for learning to happen. And it, it goes along with our philosophy that learning is not confined to the classroom, that it can happen anywhere.